Hey everyone, this is Julian again with another Brother Lock update. Um, today is the second of um, August, yeah. And um, I just came back from my retightening a few hours ago. Um, had a lot of new growth and stuff, so it took a long time. Um, this time my retightening usually takes around four hours. I go usually every eight weeks. Um, this time it took six. Uh, I kind of equate that to it being the summer. A lot of times your hair can grow faster in the summertime. Um, partly because I kind of been using some old little stuff. Still trying some stuff out. I guess something working. And um, I've been drinking a lot of water. A lot and a lot, a lot of water. So I kind of equate that everything kind of contributes to that. But she said I had, it, it was taking, it took a minute. She said I had a little afro going on under, underneath my hair. And I kind of knew that, but I didn't think it was going to be that bad. Um, so here's my hair. You can actually see my center part today. Um, kind of had it done a little differently this time. So instead of going backwards, I had it going had her do it so where it kind of goes down to the sides um they kind of stuck right now still so it's going to take a little bit for them to um kind of settle kind of not be so tight but usually i wear my hair like this so i said it would be easier instead of it kind of being all roosted up on top of my head um so i kind of had her do it a little differently this time definitely still love them um it'll be i think august is 10 months because i'll be a year in october so I'm at about 10 months going on at 10 months now. So definitely still love them, um, which is, you know, I'm definitely still proud of myself. Still love my hair, looking to see what happens, you know, what happens next and everything for it. Um, I still had the same issue where my hair kind of, they came out in the front, um, the front few. But um, what she did this time is she said that she changed. Yeah, I got like a little one right here. She says she changed the pattern, um, so I guess she used another type of pattern for a looser texture of hair instead of the four pattern, which I think most of my hair is. Um, what else? Um, hadn't really, I stopped braiding and banding my hair a long time ago. Most of my hair didn't come out, it's just always been the front since probably the tightening before last. It just started all of a sudden, um, it just got really soft. Um, but I'm really not going to worry about it. Most of the time, they'll stay for a while, and then as they grow, they go. It's okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just what it is. Um, so I just, you know, have to get that taken care of and done again. Um, what else is going on with my hair? Um, shampoo-wise, I, um, as I talked about before in some of my other videos, I was having a lot of problems with dandruff. Um, I guess we're drinking the water. Um, I'm back vegan again, so hasn't really been an issue. But I've also been using some different shampoos. I've been using the Jason's uh, Scalp Therapy shampoo, and that has sulfur in it. Also been using a lot of like tea tree shampoos. So if I'm not using that one, I have um, Organics. The Organics line that you can find at Walmart has a Australian tea tree shampoo I've been using. And um, also... Uh, Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo. I'll be using that as well. But, I kind of added stuff to them. So, to the um, <laughs> to most of the shampoos, I added extra tea tree oil to it. Because um, I was using that, especially when my scalp started to really itch, I would just put get a Q-tip with some tea tree oil on it and just rub it on the, on the itchy spots. And that really helped. But, um... I also put some um, tea tree and all the other the tea tree oil in the shampoos, but then in the tea tree tingle shampoo, I added some other stuff too. So I added a little argan oil and um, a little sulfur, some sublime sulfur. So and because I, I heard it definitely helps with dandruff, but it also helps with hair growth. So um, I do still wash my hair kind of often, so maybe that's why it grew so much. Actually, um, I also had some Calowance oil. And I added, um, it was just like black and bossy braid oil. It's a local brand here in Cincinnati. Um, I added some sulfur to that, like just like a teaspoon of sulfur. Um, just to kind of like a little bit put on my hands to put it in my hair and on my scalp. And I definitely seemed to help. Um, so all I know is like, you know, usually I would see flakes and stuff when I even get my retightening, even after washing my hair. This time I didn't. So this time we did not have an issue with that at all, which was really nice. It felt like I was really getting a grasp on it. Um, 
other than that, everything is good. Everything is uh, wonderful. I'm sorry. I'm ADD and something's in my computer. Um, everything is good. Can't complain about really anything right now. Um, work is good. Life is good. So, yeah, we're cool. Losing weight. Yes. I'm really excited about that. Um, I might have mentioned this in a video, but um, when I went to the last one to the doctor, they said I was pre-diabetic. So I said, oh, no, we can't have this. I don't want to be on any medications or anything for that. So I decided to um, embrace a plant-based lifestyle. So right now, definitely I'm enjoying it. And currently, right now, my partner's doing it with me. So he's doing it for at least 30 days. Um, so, you know, it's been fun. Um, I'm enjoying it. I love cooking. Follow me on Instagram, moving forward, um, M-O-V-I-N-G, um, 86, moving, no, sorry, <laughs> moving forward, 86, was so um, moving, then it's um, 4, and then W-A-R-D, 86. So that's my Instagram. You can see some of the um, concoctions and stuff I've created. Zucchini bread, other different cakes and stuff like that. I really do enjoy cooking, especially vegan cooking. It's very, very fun. Um, I guess my aspiration when I think of a vegan cook is that I want to kind of be like somebody's southern grandma in the, in the love and everything that happens with food for them, but vegan. So, um, so, you know, a lot of those good southern flavors, a lot of those good just home cooking dishes that just remind you of your grandma so um definitely still working on that every day um that's about it about to start back in school so i will be back in school at the end of the month sorry still something near my computer um so everything is everything's good i'm excited about that so i'll be done in december god willing the creek don't rise so it's good um so let me show you my hair and then I guess I'll see you in a few months or if ever I come back with anything. I did now. I did say on my Facebook, if you follow me on Facebook, that I am going to do a video like the um, ladies of the R&B Divas um, LA did where um, Shantae Moore had them do and I marry myself like the vows I will make to myself. I did say I'm going to do that video. So um, that is coming. Sorry, somebody <laughs> just commented on something I wrote on Facebook. But um, so that video is coming coming I'm still working on it but um other than that everything's good so let me kind of show you what's going on in my hair <clears throat> if we look here I'm sorry I got this light kind of stationary you can definitely now see my scalp which most of the time you can't see which is which is very nice so um let's see if I can show you the back a little bit so okay here's the other side all right so um i guess until next time um please like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you in the next video peace